on guys um, today I'm going to show you how to test a battery using one of these it's a battery load tester it says 100 amp load tester um, I'll also show you how to do it if you don't have one of these which most people don't but if you want one you can get one on the internet 25 30 bucks it's an awesome tool to have you can use it on mowers you can use it on cars most of your 12 volt batteries i wouldn't use it on like <clears throat> smaller batteries like maybe for a uh, a power wheels or something like that i wouldn't use this on that it's probably way too much for it but um, car batteries, lawnmower batteries, I wouldn't use it on motorcycle batteries, I don't think. It's probably a little much. But, um, but we'll, uh, I'll show you how to use this thing and then I'll show you how to test the battery without, if you don't have one of these. It's not, without this, it's not 100% accurate, but it'll, it will at least tell you what state your battery's in but um, let's get started on it all right guys you got a bolt meter here set up you can check it with a bolt meter doesn't really tell you much but it will give you 12.51 volts you can see that 12.51 there we go all right this battery is 12.56 they're pretty close this battery I charged all night the lawnmower battery this battery yeah I know it's a car battery but it's the same difference A little bit more cranking amp. This one's about 700, and this one is 300 and 300 exactly. So the real test is putting a load on that battery, and that's where this comes in. I'm hook that to positive, and this to negative. Now, guys. When y'all doing this, be extra careful. If you have ever seen one of these batteries explode, you will start being really, really careful doing this. So, turn your head. When you push this button on here to load test it, turn your head away from that battery. I have seen these things explode and the whole top blows off of that battery and it sounds like a shotgun went off. Literally a shotgun went off. That is not exaggerating. Um, right now it's showing, if y'all can see that, it's showing 13, well 12.6, 12.7 volts. You put that under a load and if you notice right here it's saying weak. If it goes below nine it's bad now this is a full charge battery I've had it I had it on charge all night and it charged but um, I'm gonna put it under a load and watch that meter it should not go below ten and a half to eleven under a load so you hold this button down five seconds to ten seconds no longer than ten seconds when you do this we're gonna push it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's holding at about nine volts. Now, technically, that battery would probably still start your mower. But it's not any good the reason it will still start your mower is because now the engines have a compression release 
that nine volts will probably spin that motor over and start it. But what's happening is your charging system is trying to charge this battery. Well, it can't. That's all it'll take. But it's going to keep trying and keep trying and trying. Your charging system is going to get hot. You probably won't know it. But it shouldn't drop below 10 and a half, 11 volts. I would go get me another battery. Now let's test. This is a car battery. Now this battery has not been charged in about six months. It's set on my carport for about six months. I did charge it before that, but I have used it several times for different things. Boost the car off, run a light off of it, whatever. And the battery, I don't know if I can see a year on it or not. It's about four years old. I've had this battery for about four years. But uh, let's hook this up to this. Hook this up to that. Now let's watch this one. Right now it's at 12.6 by that meter. Let me turn it where y'all can see that. Now I'm going to put this battery under a load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds and still holding. And that battery stays at 11 volts under a load. It's not even been charged. This one I charged all night last night. Now you say, well, it's a car battery versus a lawnmower battery. Well, I'm going to take you over here to my mower. Battery's about three months old. I've not charged it. I've just started and let the charging system on the mower charge it. We're going to go test it. All right, guys, we're going to check this with a meter just so I can show you. What we got here. Twelve point five zero volts. Now let's now let's load test this battery. Shows about the exact same reading. 12.5, 12.6. We'll put it under a load. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5, 10 seconds right there, and it's holding at about 10.6. 10.5, 10 10.6. You see that thing turning red in there? That's when you know you got a good battery. That thing turns that thing red in about 10, 15 seconds. That's a hot battery. This casing is super hot. It's not red anymore, but that element inside there, it turned red. But that shows you that you got a good battery. If it's dropping down there 9, 8 volts, and you've charged it, Go we'll get you another a, a new battery. All right, guys. So now, let's say you don't have one of these, one of those fancy load testers. You can use a voltmeter. I'm gonna hook this up to the battery. There we go. Twelve point five zero. Now, on, my, on this mower, I've got lights to hook to it. So, I could turn these lights on. If you watch that voltage, it's at 12.52 right now. And you see that? 
right, now I'm going to turn the key on and put a load on it. That's the lights. See it dropping down? Well, that's not enough. That load's not enough. So you would want to try to start it, pull the spark plug wires off of it, just disconnect it, and try to start it with the plug wires off. Okay. So we are, we're at 1228 right there. So when I try to start it, it's going to put a better load on that battery. So here we go. What's the meter? Eleven fifteen. Did you see that? That kind of tells you that that battery would be okay. If it dropped down there about eight volts, when you do this, that possibly that battery ain't no good. You may try to charge it with a battery charger, not the mower. Take the battery out, hook it to a battery charger, and then once it's charged, put it back in and do the test again and see what it drops down. If it's still dropping down at eight, nine volts, you need to go get yourself a battery. It will save you a bunch of problems with your charging system because it knows that battery is that low. It's going to keep trying to charge that battery up. And it can't because the battery won't take the charge. It'll always be eight, nine volts under a load. So the whole time you have your PTOs engaged, it's got a load on that battery and your charging system is going to keep charging and charging and charging. Alright guys, I'll give you a few more pointers on batteries. I hope that video helped you, but um, we'll give you some more pointers. If you charge your battery up and you start your car with it, lawnmower with it, or whatever, and say you're in your car and you're playing your radio for 10 minutes, even 20 minutes, and your battery is dead, it won't start your car after that, your battery's bad. It, and another one is if, you, if your battery is dead, it won't even start your car or your mower, and you put it on the charger, you come back and check on it in 20, 30 minutes and it shows it's full charged. You may put that battery in your car and it may start your car. That battery is bad. It should last longer than 20 minutes listening to your radio. And if it's charging that quick, there's no way. You need a new battery. Go get yourself a brand new battery and put it in there. And then turn your radio on for 20 minutes and I bet your car will still start. But I hope this video helped you with your battery. You need to do this test before you do any electrical testing on your mower, even car. You make sure this is good before you go checking um, components on your car or your lawnmower, either one. Uh, it could be um, a Power Wheels um, battery. Now you probably don't want to use that 100 amp load tester on like a Power Wheels battery, which I said that at the beginning of the video, but um, that'll help you out checking your battery. Most of the time when you put a load tester and it's a bad battery though, it will drop way down there. It'll go down six, eight, five. That This one here that's at nine volts, I may pop the cap off of that and try to add a little water. It says never add water on the top of it. But um, if I can put a little bit in it, like I said, I hope it helps you, and if you like this video, 
like, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, and hit the little bell, and you'll get future notifications of other videos. And um, share the video with your friends, and we'll see you on the next video.